Hello everybody! So welcome back to my knowledge sharing video. And today I'm going to talk about why joining a research lab in undergrad is important. Well, you know, we as a college student pay the same tuition fees and living costs. Well, it depends where you live. But what I'm trying to say here, most of the research lab, well, at least in undergrad, you don't have to pay extra to join a research lab. At least that was based on my experience in undergrad. So when I was in undergrad, I joined a research lab called Artificial Intelligence Lab. Basically, in my campus, there are so many different kinds of research labs. I will name some of it. Multimedia Lab, Artificial Intelligence Lab, Computing Lab, Hardware and Embedded System Lab, Forestry Lab, Network and Operating System Lab, Data Mining Lab, database lab, software engineering lab with game development lab, mobile app development lab, well, we call it motion lab, and then e-learning lab, high performance computing lab, internet of things lab, and many more. I mean, I almost named all of them, but yeah, basically in my campus, we have different kinds of research lab. And I really encourage you, if you are able to go to college and your campus or your department has different kinds of research lab, I really encourage you to join one of them because, well, I'm going to share with you more detail. First, you will get more exposure and you will learn earlier than your peers or your classmates. For example, in my case, the artificial intelligence course will be given on the fifth semester. And then the machine learning course will be given to the student on the sixth semester. Yeah, but since I joined the artificial intelligence lab, I can learn the materials earlier when I was in second and third semester. You know, one or two year earlier, right? So yeah, that's the first reason why you should join a research lab in undergrad. And then second, basically in your senior year, which is your 7th until 8th semester, you need to prepare your undergraduate thesis, right? And it's really hard to know what to do if you don't have any guidance. So since in most research labs, they have this research group or focus group, so you can try to do research with your colleagues and there will be a supervisor, which is your professor or your lecturer. From that experience, you can try and see how to do research and how to create a research paper properly. Again, joining a research lab is beneficial if you really want to learn earlier and at least you can find the guidance and the community of course in my experience when i was joining the artificial intelligence lab in my fourth until fifth semester i joined the lab as the undergraduate researcher which is joining the focus group and we're working on this project called the Twitter name entity recognition. Although the research was unfinished, but at least I can see how can we maintain the project from the beginning and until the end. So when I was in my seventh semester and I should write a proposal, at least I can see the big picture earlier because I've learned about creating research paper previously or at least how to do a research. Does that make sense? Well, that's the second reason. And finally, the third reason is the community. You know, it's really hard to find like-minded people. I mean, especially if you're interested in a specific area. For my case, it was artificial intelligence. And it's really hard to talk about AI to my friends in the sports community or the organization. Well, you know, it's pretty hard to connect with your organization or your community peers if you're talking about research. So if you really want to dive in a little bit more about research or engineering, or you would probably have a plan to go further, especially if you really want to get 
get a master's degree or a PhD, I mean, you should go join a research lab in your undergrad. If you can't, that's okay. You can do it in your master's degree. But if you're able to join the research lab while you were in undergrad, I really encourage you to join one research lab yeah that's the reasons why joining a research lab in undergrad is very important well i do really hope that you enjoyed this short video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye jadi udah azan azan asar makanya kayak bikin videonya nggak bisa lama-lama terus taruh juga ada kegiatan oke bye